Hi everyone, this is Maurice, going to talk about the Meze 99 Classics Gold headphone. So we're going to take off this flap here, nice magnetic flap. And mind you, this is a tour unit, so it's not going to look super duper new, okay, because other people has had this headphone, reviewed it, and then sent it to me. So it won't look exactly, exactly new. Okay, so let's unzip the case here. Very nice case. See that? Gorgeous. So before we get to the headphones, let's get to the case. Okay, so I open up the case here. And so this is a very long cable here. It's three meters in length. So that's a very, very long cable, but it's good if you want to connect it to amps and stuff like that, right? So this is the longer cable here. This is the shorter cable, it has a mic and a play pause button right here as well. See? Click, click. Okay. It's a plug. Y connect. It's all the way. And this one is 1.2 meters long. Okay. Let's put that to the side. Also comes with an airplane adapter. and a one-fourth inch adapter as well. You can plug up the small end to here. Plug it into devices like DAC amps and all that good stuff, okay? Let's put that off to the side. So here's the headphone. It's absolutely magnificent. No hyperbole at all it's a beautifully crafted headphone check that out headband 99 classics stretches right here see that on both ends and that's what helps to create that one-of-a-kind fit see that damn hardware is gorgeous gold highlights throughout pivots up and down forward and back here's the ear pads nice and soft very cushy you know um clamping strength is also good as well so clamping strength and the ear pads here it may um feel a little bit uncomfortable after wearing for a while it may prove to be a little bit sweaty to me i don't have that issue i'm i'm personally okay i don't feel any discomfort but some may feel that your ears might get a little bit warm after some time of use with these beautiful headphones here um, ear cups are mag, or sorry, um, uh, are walnut, okay, walnut. And one interesting tidbit is I've listened to several of these back to back to back, um, at various meets and such, and I actually heard, um, a, a slight difference in the sound signature of all of them, mainly in the bass. So, but it's definitely not enough to say, oh, the one that has the least bass sounds like a flat sound. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's still a pretty bassy sound. So yeah, let's go straight to the sound. This has a, a mid bass, mid range emphasis, in my opinion, pretty Bassy sound. It's not the most 
pristine and um and and tight tight but it's still a very nice sound um smooth in the mid-range treble rolled off yes because of that bass that you hear and sometimes feel but is non-fatiguing and um is a good choice if you are treble sensitive okay soundstage not that great you know because these are closed and isolates pretty well in my opinion and doesn't really um exude terrific sound stage and layering and spatial capabilities and such but sounds good enough to to just head bob have fun dance um and sounds actually very good compared to a lot of headphones um in its price class which is uh three hundred dollars okay so so now let's um Let's take a look at some comparisons, all right? So, this is my THX100 Fostex uh, by Mashdrop, but I've modded it. So first thing, sound is a little bit different because I changed out the, um, uh, the stock mahogany um, ear cups to um, um, these EMU ebony cups. And this increases the bass somewhat. And then I also got this changed out to detachable cables as well. So I got this from being completely fixed to it being, um, uh, there we go, to it being detachable here. Put it in, screw it on, and you're good to go. So compared to the 99 classics here, uh, well, this has more bass, more of a bass sound, um, a little bit more clear overall presentation, but this is also, you know, $400 plus the ear cups, which is, which was about a hundred for me. And then, um, this, this mod here, uh, which is, um, like a hundred for this and the, um, stock cable re terminated. And then this cable was like a hundred and like 10 bucks. So <laughs> a lot more than than these, which by default gives you detachable cables, sockets here. See that? I could just plug it right in. Whoops, wrong side. <laughs> I could plug it right in. Boom. Good to go. See that? Bam. No extra money needed okay so that's a plus so overall the Fostex are clear sounding okay but um the the 99 classics would have more of um a laid back sound but still both are great all right so next one will go is to the um, the master and dynamic MH40 sorry MH30 master and dynamic MH30 okay so here you go detachable cables as well I'll say that the base presentation is actually not far off from these um, but this is a little bit more billowy in sound, uh, especially in the bass region. And these are 
on ears as well. So it's going to feel a little different as opposed to these. Um, mid range, this is more meaty, okay? More meaty in sound and just more warm and more thick, okay? And this one is uh, is like 329, I believe, nowadays, all right? So next one is the Master and Dynamic MH40. Bam, okay? So with this one, same thing, detachable on both sides, all of that good stuff. And this one doesn't have the amount of bass as the 99 Classics here, but it's still um, a clear and pristine sound when it comes to the bass. So this has tighter bass. Sorry about that. Had a call. <laughs> and the mids are, um, are smooth, more clear than the 99 Classics, but these are also 349, but these are heavier on the head as well. And treble, this one is more extended in the treble than these. And soundstage is about the same, but since there's more treble emphasis, there might be more perception that, that this actually has um, um, slightly um, more broad soundstage than the 99 Classics. Okay, but they're both good. <laughs> and this one is uh, 349. Next one is the Sennheiser. Momentum 2.0 AEI. Okay, so let's just take that out. Blamma. All right, cool. Unfold these. Oh, yeah, that's one thing that these don't do. These don't fold or unfold, okay? So that's something to consider, I suppose, for me. I I truly don't care, but okay. So we got these. This one has more of a balanced sound. So this one does have bass, but it's not as bassy as these, okay? This one has more of a mid bass, sub-bass presence than these. So these are more of a balanced sound, but it's really not too far off in actual like ability and technical sound that I hear. So these two aren't too far off, but if you want more of a bassier sound, these are the ones to get. And then if you want one that has less of a bassy sound, these would be the ones to get, even though this one does have pretty good uh, bass response as well. And these are, well, it depends in the 200s to like 349-ish for the momentum. So it's all about where you look, right? So yeah, they're both good as well. All right, next one, last but not least. The Torque. It's like T400V. <laughs> I'll just call it the Torque, right? <laughs> so, yeah, here's the case right here. Bam. Alright, so you've got the cable that plugs in, right? Okay, cool. With the big difference with these ones is you can change the bass response. So you just put the bass response level that you want and then you place it on top. So say if you want the least bass, you'll place it on top like so, okay? Holds on via magnet, okay? And then the next for bass, for more bass is the red, and then the blue, and the most base is the yellow, okay? So make sure that they're the same for the both, uh, for both sides, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. But um, uh, comparing 
the most bass to this, yes, there is more bass out of here. And then with the least bass, there's a lot less bass um, from here than these, okay? These are like the equivalent of like a three, sorry, like a, um, a three to four, blue to yellow, almost max, max for bass. And the torque sounds a little bit thin compared to the 99 classics, in my opinion. Um, still a good sound, but not to the caliber of the richness and, uh, um, and fullness of the sound of these. But these have a detailed sound, um, especially when you dial in the pads, or yeah, you want. And then also, they also come with on-ear type pads as well. Take a look at this. Bam. So that's cool too, but to me, the sound from these <laughs> are far inferior to these. And as you see, you can probably tell why this is a lot bigger. Everything sounds more massive, detailed, all that good stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let me put these away. Then back to these. So... You got the headband, very tight, very tight. Love it, gorgeous, gorgeous headphone. For 300 bucks, you really cannot do better. You you really cannot get, you know, a better headphone that has this type of design, this type of look from a headphone for this price point, okay? You'll get other ones that are built very well, but you won't have this bespoke, this custom look to it. See that? I mean, every part of it, just this. Um, if you look at my review, I have a link to this YouTube video that has them making the headphone in CAD. And you can see bit by bit, they're changing out the lengths, the curvature, the symbols here. Uh, not the symbols per se, but but how this looks right here. It's pretty amazing. And you feel like this is a one-of-a-kind headphone. And I'll tell you, to me, it sounds different from headphone to headphone, which is kind of cool too, because you'll get a one of a kind headphone when it comes to sound as well. So that's what I'm really talking about here, is you get that bespoke look, that bespoke sound. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, I would hope that other headphone companies could follow suit and make something as awesome as as this and and uh yeah <laughs> it's pretty darn cool so i thank you for watching have a great day take care and as always love you guys be safe peace here's an update to the review of the 99 classics here so I actually had headphones that I was going to add in as a comparison but I didn't include it in the original piece so I'm gonna add it now so this is the $299 clear NC noise canceling headphones okay so it's the exact same price point as the 99 classics here okay so this is it with all the attachments and adapters and all that good stuff so th this is it right here clear and see see that <clears throat> nice and comfortable weight wise it's a little bit heavier 
than the 99 classics. Let's put that off to the side. Um, and this is going to have more base response than these, especially when the A and C active noise canceling is turned on. Okay. If it's off, then it's pretty comparable to my ears. Then this also has the ear pads that are that are a little bit thicker, slightly more plush. Um, but um, again, these are a little bit heavier than the 99 classics. Sound wise, more bass A and C off. Um, it's it's about the same. Mids are. Um, I feel these are a little bit more full sounding, more warmth than these, but these are still sounding pretty warm in the mid range, but I'll give the nod to, to these to sounding a little bit more natural in a sense. And then <clears throat> the treble, this one is actually... Uh, more extended in the treble to me than these not by a whole lot not night and day but still enough to uh, Mention so yeah, so these can move up and down this can swivel this way But not that way and they can fold as well, which the 99 classics cannot but these way more and uh, Very nice headband all of that good stuff Okay, but yeah, this one has a more natural, organic sound, and these have um, a more manufactured, but still sounding very good for its price point. So, both of these sound very good for what they're trying to uh, accomplish here. So, yeah, I would definitely take a listen to both of them if you can but I love this the um, these headphones for sure so that's about it have a great day take care much love to you and peace <laughs>